Many causes can be attributed to changes in design and issues facing the construction sector. A straightforward illustration of this would be if a client or property owner had asked for a bathroom to have two sinks. However, after work had begun and contracts for the work had been awarded and completed, they decided to change their minds and added a third wash basin. Occasionally, rather than adding more work or content, a co-user or the owner of the work decides to remove some of it. Since this is also a change order, most of the guidelines still hold true. Occasionally, Modifications to directives or instructions simply affect the working environment. The client might request, for example, that you expedite the schedule in order to finish the work sooner. Swifter movement may result in more inefficiencies and higher labor costs for shift or overtime labor. The onus now shifts to the contractor or subcontractor to estimate the additional work and present it to the owner for approval. The components of a change order are very. Direct job expenses will probably alter because of one or more change orders. For example, you might have to pay extra for a guarantee or insurance if the contract value is higher. Longer term equipment rentals such as storage or other equipment rented for the construction site, may incur additional fees. Maintaining a running list of all planned and actual changes to a construction project, along with the associated change order costs, is a prudent practice. This will assist in keeping job costs and billing in check both monthly and at the end of operations. Determine the work's identity. Thus, determine which work is being altered, whether it be new work, deleted work, or a combination of the two, before putting a price on the change order. Usually, owners or clients provide written requests with updated drawings, or, at the very least, a sketch, that illustrate the modifications. Some suggestions and guidance on identifying and implementing them. Determine each problem with the assignment, beginning with a formal, written request for the client's ideas on how to change a piece of work. Regardless of how you approach it, any instruction will function and the theory remains the same. Identifying the contract that satisfies the specifications shown in the drawings that are attached and sending the information requested. Obtaining quotes from subcontractors or other suppliers can be required. Ensure your subcontractors and suppliers understand how important it is to finish this task on time so they can plan for additional costs associated with material delivery or expedite work if required to keep the project on schedule. Furthermore, incorporating new subcontractors or suppliers will help preserve uniformity and eliminate certain uncertainty. In conclusion, Consumer Trading Organization Limited will continue to host more concepts.